so now what I'll do is take these uh, values of these uh, different rates that I derived in the last video and put it uh, into this uh, equation. So, you know, let me select uh, the value of uh, R1 and, you know, let me put it uh, over here. And then what I'll do is I subtract R2 from this. So, you know, let me select R2 and let me subtract it uh, from it. And what I'm saying is that R1 minus R2 should be now equal to R3 minus R4. So let me take the value of R3. All right. And so now this should be equal to R3 minus R4. All right, so now I'm saying, you know, these these things should be now equal to each other. And then the other thing that I'll use is I'll assume uh, I'll assume the expressions that are derived for uh, for emission coefficients of uh, electrons and holes. In the case of equilibrium, they are uh, holding true. And to further simplify my analysis, what I'll assume is, you know, I'll make this assumption, which is, uh, you know, uh, uh, assumption which is not so obvious but to it helps in uh, simplifying things so what i'll assume is my my thermal velocity on of my electrons multiplied by my capture cross section for electrons is equivalent to the thermal velocity of my holes multiplied by capture cross section of holes and you know i'll try to simplify it and i'll try to use the same subscript for these uh, thermal velocity and uh, capture cross sections for both electrons and holes. So you know this is one of my assumptions that I'm I'm making to simplify things uh, over here. And uh, when I do that, and you know replace uh, this formula for En and Ep. So let me you know let me do that. So now I'll do what I'll do is I'll just use uh, one subscript and. Uh, I'm rewriting this uh, R1, so this becomes VTH into the capture cross section into N times NT into 1 minus FT. And instead of EN, I substitute it uh, by the expression that I derived for EN. So remember, you know, the expression I derived for EN was this is equal to the thermal velocity into capture cross section and then in this exponential dependence upon ET minus uh, EI. So let me substitute uh, that uh, expression over here. So now this again becomes proportional to this into NI times uh, exponential dependence of ET minus EI by KT into NT, FT. And you know, now I need to equate this to R3 minus R4. So you know, I, I look back at R3 again, and I write it again as VTH, Sigma, and this time P into uh, NT, FT. So this term doesn't change much. And then again, I, I use the formula for emission uh, coefficient of holes, and that is VTH, Sigma, NI, and again, exponential dependence for the case of holes on EI minus ET by KT, and then NT, one minus FT. So I see a lot of things are uh, coming out uh, to be common. So, you know, let me cross those terms out. So I see VTH is, you know, in all of the expressions. Capture cross section is on all of these terms. Similarly, the trap density is in all of these terms. So, you know, these three terms must, you know, just vanish away from each of uh, these. Uh, so, you know, these, I can cross out these uh, three uh, terms from uh, each of these. So let me, you know, let me cry. Let me, this goes away, 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 this goes away. So now, you know, let me collect the terms which are remaining. So if I collect the remaining terms, it becomes n times uh, 1 minus ft and then 
minus n i exponent e t minus e i divided by k t f t and this is equivalent to what's uh, left from here which is uh, p from f t minus n i e x p e i minus e t by k t and then uh, what's uh, left from over here which is uh, 1 minus f t so now let me let me you know collect all the terms which have f t on uh, one side so i'll collect all the terms which have f t on the right hand side and you know collect all the terms which don't have f t on the left hand side with the purpose being you know derive an expression for f t so let me you know let's see what terms have which what terms do not have f t so the only term which i see here is n and then this term n i e x p e i minus uh, uh, e t by k t times one so this term won't have f t so let me move it over here so instead of minus it becomes plus n i e x p e i minus e t by k t and let me you know take uh, f t common among all the terms which have f t so you know let me see what comes from this side I get uh, this term NTFT and when it comes over here it becomes plus NTF plus uh, NFT so I get FT into N and then from this term I get plus P and then uh, you know this term also I take it on this side and it becomes uh, plus so I get plus NI times EXP E T minus E I by K T and finally you know from this thing I get uh, plus you know again I can take N I common out of these two terms and I get plus E X P E I minus E T by K T and now you know I'm getting this uh, getting this uh, expression which is, has you know e x plus e to power minus uh, x and you know i'm i'm you know from some knowledge uh, of uh, basic uh, cos hyper uh, cosine function i'm you know i'm, I'm tempted to write that as uh, two time of uh, you know hyper cosine of uh, of uh, x so you know let me let me do that so what i'll do is uh, I substitute uh, this term and write it as uh, you know two times uh, n i and uh, hyper cosine of uh, e t minus e i by k t. So now I get an expression in terms of uh, which you know which relates my f t and uh, it comes out to be you know my probability of occupation of uh, a trap it it uh, comes out to be uh, comes out to be uh, you know this this formula and you know this is uh, you know towards the very end and i uh, what i need to do is now you know take this formula and uh, put it into the r1 minus r2 and you know get my net uh, get my net uh, uh, recombination or generation uh, rate so let, let's do the final step uh, as well so now now I'll take this expression which gives me the probability of occupation of a trap so the probability of a trap being unoccupied is I can write it as 1 minus FT and again from this formula what I'll, I'll get that is that that will be equal to uh, it comes out to be P plus N I E X P E T minus E I by K T and then you know the denominator being the same. So you can see you know, I'm anxious to derive uh, the end formula so I'm jumping the gun uh, a little bit uh, over here but you know you can uh, put this 
into ft and you know you can derive this one minus uh, ft and then finally what i need to do is you know i need to derive my final uh, generation and uh, recombination rate which i just said would be equal to r1 minus r2 and i already know the expressions for uh, r1 uh, minus uh, r1 and r2 both and they are related to you know the number of traps the number of electrons and the probability of occupation of traps like this and then i further said that you know uh, my um, my emission uh, coefficient i can relate it uh, to the capture uh, cross section so instead of this i substitute this to be equivalent to you know vth sigma times n i e x p e t minus e i by k t and i take you know the common terms outside i already have done that for you since i'm you know i'm very anxious to reach the final end so i take the common terms out and then you know i get uh, this expression and all i need to do is you know substitute uh, for f t and uh, so when i do that so i get these common terms and then n into 1 minus ft, I already derived the formula for that. So I get n times p plus ni exp et minus ei by kt, right? And then from over here, I get ni exponent et minus ei by kt, and then in the numerator of ft i have this n plus ni exponent term so i get another term let me create some space here which is ni sorry n plus ni exp and ei minus et by kt so and then I get that denominator over here, you know, which is, I'll just substitute later. But let, let's simplify the numerator first. So I get NP term over here. So I see this term. And then I get this N into NI term over here. And I see a similar N into NI term coming uh, from over here. So these two things will cancel. Uh, these two things will cancel out. And so, you know, this cancel out with this term over here and then i get you know this ni into exponents of et minus ei by kt and then into ni exponents of kt so you know these exponents will cancel out so the final only two terms that i get in my numerator remaining are np minus ni square right so this is my numerator and then I can substitute my denominator which was n plus p plus 2 ni cosh function of et minus ei et minus ei yes et minus ei by kt and you know this is this is this is the end so we have derived this uh, derive this uh, net uh, net uh, generation and recombination rate and you know I've, I've used just one symbol so this 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 formula it gives you both the generation rate and the recombination rate and uh, it's an important formula so you know let me put this uh, in a box and what I see is you know the driving force of this generation and recombination is that it's proportional to NP minus NI square so when np is greater than ni square you know that is when i get recombination so this term is positive so i get net uh, recombination and when np is less than ni square this term is negative and i get uh, net uh, generation and also from this denominator what i see is that uh, i have a dependence on the trap level and uh, this is a hyper cosine or a cosh function so this would uh, behave something like this where you know this hyper cosine has a has a minima of one when this uh, term over here is zero and then it always rises exponentially so what we see is that you know both our generation and recombination rates they would be maximum if our trap level is at the center of our band gap so you know if et and ei are the same then we see that you know our trap uh, our generation recombination rate is the maximum so we'll have more fun with this uh, formula in the next video, but I'm happy that, you know, I was able to derive this uh, formula.